Hi everyone. Um, feeling a lot of energy and presence today, so I thought I'd take a moment to maybe channel through some stuff. Um, today is March the 7th, 2019. I'm going to try and connect in here. Just one moment. In our hearts, we know and feel what is happening. When moving from um, the third dimension linear way of thought to the fifth dimension quantum multidimensional way of thought, um, it can be hard to grasp logically what is going on since our brain is making the shift. Um, deciding to connect in to our heart for things to, um, instead of being articulated and built, um, kind of scientifically having evidence for why something is the way it is, um, it would just flow in to your mind. Your heart leads the way. Your heart says, yes, that's it. Yes. So it is a knowing that things would flow in that you had no evidence for, but because you trust and have faith in yourself and the broadcast that you're tuned into, that you know that it's true. There'll be a certain point in time where you don't need the confirmation of why that came to you and if it is true or false you know it will be true because it came to you it's your message it does not need to be understood by other people but a lot of people are receiving the same messages right now we are the light council from the 11th dimension we associate ourselves with Ra and the law of one we associate ourselves with Ra because it's what a lot of people remember right now. It's spark sparking this recognition within people. People that have lived past lives in an evolutionary revolution. And they understand at some level what is going on. But by bringing up these past life remembrances, what it does is confirm for people. So when we associate ourselves with Ra, what we're trying to do is um, cause a remembrance. Yeah. And so um, the Egyptian people, they associated with Ra before um, because Ra was their sun god. Ra, the god of the sun. They associated with us with Ra because we are light beings. So they saw light beings and immediately that is really the only way that they could associate with us they said oh the sun is light therefore these are light so they are the light of god they are associated with the sun it's a good way to remember um, but as you move forward into your trust and faith in your broadcast, you'll, you'll know us in different ways than the Egyptians did, than the Mayans did, than all these past civilizations that had contact with us. And you've been in the dark for a long time. So that's why we nudge you with these words. Uh, these clues something that's within you to be uncovered. <sighs> we live in love in our dimension. We are one. We are the law of one, so we associate as a we, as this social memory complex. We continue to associate as we because 
we have um, come together in this same realization of we are one experience. Yes, we are individuals, but in our recognition, in our, yes, in our recognition, we decided to become one. So we each have our own stories, but we are still, our main identity is the one. Living in this identity has helped us to move up the dimensional ladder. And so we do reside in the 11th dimension. But we are split in a way. Yes, we reside there, but we are also here. It is our main purpose to awaken others, to awaken this human population to an evolutionary cycle. It is time to move up out of suffering, out of duality, out of bloodshed, out of judgment, out of harm, harm's way. When we align with our heart and our intuition, our crown chakra, from here up, we are able to move into compassion and understanding. We're able to find peace within ourselves, knowing that we are whole, knowing that we don't need to argue about anything, fight about anything, because we know what our purpose serves. There is no banter about what we are. We are very concrete in our knowings. That is why we are here to help. Be of service to those that are open, aware enough to allow us in. And allowing us in begins this process for each person where we move through hardships, where we move through past memories, those that might be associated with epigenetics, things that we aren't conscious of, you aren't conscious of, but are there, we'd like to move these out of the way so that you can step into the light now. It's time to step into the light. It's time to be one with the light. It's time to love like no other. <laughs> it's time to move up some dimensions. We are going to safeguard those that decide to move into the light, those that remember. Some of you are living through karma, but we just want to say that everyone and everything has its place and it will go to the light. It is inevitable. That is where we are going. And to be at peace with where you are, Mm -hmm. If you yearn for a connection, we are here. You can ask. You can be specific. You can look around you and the circumstances that you're going through and realize, oh, yes, this is the way that this universe communicates with me intelligently. There are signs. There are lots of signs. We try to get everyone and give everyone this choice. Mm -hmm. And with whatever you choose, 
It is okay. It is okay. But we are evolving. This is an emotional evolution. An emotional revolution. People that are standing in their own authenticity. People that are being brave. People that are harnessing the fire now. They know their mission and they know why. They remember. They remember what they were. They remember what they are. They're stepping into what they are. There is so much love to be had, and we're about to move into this golden state, this golden experience of self-expression and celebration and joy. And there's just so much joy to be had. And once you get up there, all the choices that you have, they're just going to be from your heart center. It's going to be what you find the most joy in. And usually what you find the most joy in is what you are going to excel at. It is your place. You know. You know what it is. You know why. We are just uncovering these things. We're sticking our foot in the water. We're getting a taste of what it is to be in one place and in another at the same time. We will learn the mechanics. We will acquire the tools. We will present you the tools. You have arrived. Even though things aren't quite seen yet, you have arrived here. And it is now your time to move up. And as you move up vibrationally, you will begin to see us differently. We will come to you in different forms. And at some point, it might even seem as if it was a plain relocation. But you consciously chose to attune your vibration with your highest self. So you decided to move up the stairs and open the door. And through this door, we will be awaiting you. We will have the tools to present to you. We will have the knowledge and information. And by the time you get there, there won't be any, like, you with the notepad trying to soak up all this information. It'll just be a complete download. It can be do made. It can be made through eye contact, through telepathy. Um... We're going to work with each and every one of you on your own levels, in the way that you um, operate best. We will know and we will be able to meet you there. And so, from the 11th dimension, Law of One Light Council, we thank you for listening. We thank Amber for embodying. And we look forward to all these experiences that we're about to have. May there be light and love in your life. May you be liberated from your hardships. May you find joy and celebration in all that you do. May you find laughter while you move through these hard times to get to the point that you know exists in your heart and your mind. Keep following, keep tuning in. We thank you.